Soil School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by The Mosaic Company. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to The Soil School. Today, we're going to talk about the impact forages can have on soil health. And I can think of no one more passionate about this subject than independent agronomist Pat Lynch. On this episode, Pat will share why farmers should take a hard look at forages like alfalfa from their soil health benefits to nutrient credits. He's also going to share some tips on how to better manage those forage stands. Hi, Pat. Hey, thanks for joining me on The Soil School. Good to be here. Can't wait to get going. Love well, my forages. And <laughs> let's do it. Well, let's get at it. Hey, uh, let's let's kick it off with a look at soil health, Pat. You know, why should growers be putting more forages in the rotation? You know, what are the soil health benefits? Well, the soil health benefits are numerous. But right now, the, the uh, one that people are really focusing on is soil organic carbon. And in some words, that could be organic matter, but we have to build up, we want to build up the uh, organic carbon part of it. And if we take a look at alfalfa, you know, there's research from different places around the world, but the the ones that I keep looking at are from Guelph and it's long-term 30 plus years. And they've shown that if you put even two years of alfalfa into the rotation, you will increase the soil organic carbon. And they took different ways of measuring it. One was to just measure the top six inches, to, and there was an increase there. But they also measured soil organic carbon in terms of, of mass of soil, you know, per kilogram of soil. And in both cases, you put alfalfa into the rotation, you increase the soil organic carbon. So soil organic carbon is one part of soil health. Another part is weeds and all across North America, indeed all across the world, resistant weeds are becoming monumental. The one right now that we've got in Ontario that's just, uh, it's very evil is water hemp. Now the thing with water hemp is it's an annual and it'll germinate in the springtime. You put that field into alfalfa for a couple of years, those plants are going, those seeds are going to germinate and they're gone. So and there are other weeds, you know, like Canada fleabane, lots of weeds, if they germinate while they're in forages, they die, and then they carry on. The next one for soil health is diseases. And we've got a myriad of heat of diseases in soybeans, soybean cyst nematode, even in wheat, all the root rods, corn, all the root rods, every crop has those. So by putting forages, alfalfa especially, into that rotation, then we get into breaking that disease cycle. Insects is another one. Corn root worm in parts of Ontario and certainly in parts of the U.S., big time, is a problem. But if you take corn out for one year and put alfalfa in, that gets rid of the corn root worm. So there are so many different ways that forages, especially alfalfa, benefit soil health. Now, Pat, you talk a lot about alfalfa. You know, wh- what type of, you know, what other forages as well should growers consider, and, and where do they fit in the rotation? Okay, so I'm going to focus on alfalfa, queen of the forages. Corn is king of the crops. Alfalfa is queen of the forages. Oh, there's just so many reasons why we should be doing it. The, the nitrogen benefit is one. And as we go down this road, nitrogen is not going to become less expensive. Indeed, you know, this may be the, the, the normal for nitrogen. Um, we c- could grow grasses. And in some cases, grasses are what the soil needs. And that's what we will grow. Most forage mixes are maybe 90% alfalfa and 10% grasses. And there's various reasons for that, but that's the way it is. So if you've got land that's heavy and prone to to wet feet, grass is the way to go. Knowing that once you put it into grasses, you're going to have to put nitrogen on there. So that ups the cost. The other thing is, is what are you feeding it to? Are you feeding it to dairy? Are you trying to sell it to the export market? Are you feeding to horses? So the other factor that farmers that are growing in forages for cash crop really don't take into account enough is what is my market? It's not a case of if I grow it, they will buy it. It's a case of what do they want, then I will grow that. So the mix of forages is, is very dependent on so many different things. Let's talk fertility. I mean, obviously something that's it's, it's dear, uh, dear and dear to your heart. You know, you know, when it comes to a, a crop like alfalfa, how much residual ni- nitrogen, you know, you know, does it deliver? Okay, this is the big, um, how would you call it? 
we are not giving forages enough credit. Part of the reason is we don't have very good research. We don't have any research. Uh, the most probably valid research comes from Dr. Dan Undersander from Wisconsin, and he's been retired four or five years. But his research, and certainly many of the states through the, through the Midwest, they give nitrogen up to, or alfalfa, up to 190 pounds of nitrogen credit to the next crop. And so the obvious question is why in Ontario do we only give 100? And the answer is because when we did the research looking at the nitrogen credit for forages, 100 pounds of nitrogen, that's as far as we could go to get yield. So now that we've got new yield levels, um, the nitrogen credit that I give alfalfa, a good stand of alfalfa, is at least 150 pounds, maybe 160, 170 pounds. So when you factor in the current value of nitrogen, you're looking at $200 an acre of nitrogen credit, as well as an increase in corn of, of you know, probably... 10% increase in corn if you follow that alfalfa with corn. And even into the next year after that, there's also a nitrogen credit. And part of this is the residual um, of the alfalfa roots breaking down and releasing nutrients. Um, you can get probably a 25 to 30 pound nitrogen credit for the second year after alfalfa. So if you were growing two years corn, which I really don't like, you could reduce your nitrogen rate for the second one. Yeah. So the, the, the nitrogen value, it's a whole new world out there, Bernard. And, and these farmers that leave the alfalfa down for four and five years, I have fun with them. Typically, they, they could be dairy farmers. I said, how many of you guys have got alfalfa down four or five years? A bunch of hands go up, and these are dairy farmers. So how many of you guys got cows that are 15 years old and milking? Well, they laugh. I said, that's funny. But the same with forages. You shouldn't be leaving it down that long. The benefit of forages is moving it around, getting more uh, acres healthy, and you do that by shortening the rotation. Hey, and maybe that leads to my final question. Hey, you know, um, if you were, you know, to talk with farmers who grow forage, you know, what are one or two things that you, you'd like to tell them to change? Okay, you said I could have one thing, and I thought about this, Bernard, and the one thing is, don't leave the alfalfa down so long. What are you doing? There's no bragging rights for whoever's got the oldest alfalfa. When I talk to farmers, I say, so why are you leaving it down so long? Well, it's the cost of seed. Cost of seed is, is nuts. So you may spend $120 an acre for forage seed. And that's, you know, realistically, it should be over two years. So that's 60. But really, it's going to be over three years. So that's four $40 an acre, and I won't even talk about the guys that want to leave it down longer, versus, say, $120 an acre for corn, $120 for corn, $40 for forages. Don't tell me the cost is seed. It's because you don't want to think, you don't want to change. There is money to be made by leaving the alfalfa stand longer or, or leaving it down a shorter period of time. And the benefit is you get more acres with improved soil health. And that's the objective. We want more acres with alfalfa. Don't leave it down so long. Put it into more acres. Well, Pat, hey, great stuff. Um, we really appreciate you stopping by and joining us on Soil School. We, we will have you back, right? Oh, not a problem, Bernard. I appreciate the chance to promote forages. Thanks for this opportunity. You have a great day.